right. Uh, good morning. Um, just uh, getting our preparation here for this first day uh, underway. Uh, guys came in early today and had our meetings, had our team meeting, uh, talked about and established our goals for keys to victory as we do every week. Uh, talked about our opponent personnel, um, offense, defense, and kicking. Uh, that was really good. Then they went to unit meetings. Uh, we do some uh, meetings and walkthroughs in our ITC. Uh, all units do that. So that's good to get the preparation done uh, for this week. And then this will be a pads day uh, for us, first and second down. Um, and we'll be right out here in our fields that are close to us today. Um, so we're looking for you know fast uh, physical execution uh, today uh, in practice. Um, you know, like we said, first and second down, runs and run actions and all the things you do in that uh, normal part, normal downs uh, during the game. So we're excited about that. Um, you know, have everybody back available to us uh, today, which is which is excellent. You know, in terms of our health of our football team, we're excited about that. And uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. Hey, you saw the way the teams defended Justin change last season as his as he succeeded so much as a rusher. You saw teams key in on that more. Are you expecting a season of that now where he's coming off a 1,000-yard rushing season, every defense that faces him is going to try to force him to prove he can do it from the pocket? Yeah, you could potentially see that. You know, we just have to adjust to see what, what they give us. You know, we're not sure. I mean, we sure we anticipate that. And, and, and sometimes, you know, you have to have a plan for – well, not sometimes. You have to have a plan for both. Um, they're going to play him straight up or they're going to do what they did last year. So, um, again, the effectiveness of the of the run game and the pass game uh, will dictate that. And I think that's uh, going forward, that's going to be something we're going to have to look at. Do you think, uh, even though that would be keying in on taking away one of his strengths, do you think that would be something Justin could use to his advantage if he truly has grown as a passer like you guys are telling us? Yeah, I would say that's true because I think when you try to take away something, you open up something else, you know, and I think that's uh, – Try to load the box to stop the run. You open up the receivers on the outside. You know, you try to defend the pass and you know, sp you know, play more split safety. You open up the run. You know, so to speak. You know, in terms of the basics of football. But uh, uh, certainly with him, you know, taking away that uh, run game for him is something that people did last year, and that should open up different avenues for us. The, the depth chart that was released yesterday did have Nathan Peter down as the, the number two quarterback in Tyson Bajan three. Is that what <clears throat> you're rolling with? Well, that's what we're looking at right now. You know, we haven't made a final decision, but uh, that's what we're leaning to right now for this first game. But we'll see where it goes uh, during the course of the week, and we certainly reserve the right to make any adjustments as we need to uh, going forward. Is that something that could be, even if neither of those guys was to play, was to be needed next month and a half? Is that something where there could still be competition in practice where six weeks from now you might have a different pecking order there? Yeah, I think that's to be said for the whole football team. You know, I think that we're always looking at guys developing and, and improving during the course of the year. And that person could jump into another number two role or stay where he is. So I think that's what's with everybody for our yeah. football team. As you outline goals for this team and you'll look ahead to the season, do you talk about winning the division? Do you want these guys thinking about that as, as a goal or is it more kind of the focus of each game? No, that's our goal. That's our number one goal is to win the division, you know, and then get win the conference and then go to the Super Bowl, you know, and have a chance to win that. And uh, we talk about that early on, you know, in the spring. Uh, but we know that division games are more important. They're, they have a little more weight to them, and uh, we're excited about this one. Well, we all have a lot of new players in here, a lot of young players who have little or no experience with this whole Bears-Packers thing, right? And right. come Monday morning, win or lose, this town, us, we're probably going to overreact to whatever it is. How do you focus on this? Like, how do you not make it bigger than it is to your team? Well, I think you have to state what it is. I mean, it's a heck of a rivalry, right? It's the best tradition, you know, best rivalry in football. You know, so you got to state that. That's a fact. Um, the other thing is that, you know, this is one game, right? This is the only game we can control, you know, and we control one play at a time. This preparation for this week, you know, playing against this opponent, this week one, you know, so you got to micro it down for them too. Um, and so that's how you win the game, right? You might do it one play at a time and do it all the way through the game. So um, you just talk to them that way. What hurdles specifically do young defensive tackles face? What are you looking for to, to see success from them? 
Yeah, I would just say that to be able to wire in, you know, the old cycle of the snap, to be able to wire in and do your job one play at a time. Um, because, you know, in that position, you know, you have to own that gap inside and, and uh, you have to do different movements that we ask them to do, you know, with different pressures, different movement line stunts that we do that we've always done. So um, for me, it's just that, it's just wire in, cycle of the snap, you know, because you can get – you know, as a young player, you can get discouraged with adversity sometimes. You know, it doesn't matter if it's corner, if it's D-tackle, whatever that might be. you got to wire in, flip the page, and go to the next play. And that's what they have to learn how to do. So, some people have said before that for rookies, the closer their position is to the ball, the easier it is for them to have success right away. Do, do you buy into that at all? Um, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I think that, uh, you know, your job is more, it's, it's right there right now. On you, and it's less space. I certainly could see the point to that. Patrick's been here a while, but you're healthy a lot. I mean, we haven't seen him in game action much. What do you sense you have in him as you go to the starting gates for this season? Yeah, we just hope he's you know stays healthy and uh, does you know performs well. You know, for him, I know it's been frustrating for him. I know he's want, wanted to be on the field. I know he's worked you know extremely hard this off season to change his body. Um, we were certainly excited about that, and then he got injured you know during training camp. So I know there's a little frustration for him. But he's just putting his best foot forward uh, for this week, and uh, we expect him to execute. There's been quite a few guys who've been out for quite a long time, you know, leading up to the opener. How confident are you that this group is just going to be able to all come together right away from week one? Yeah, I mean, that's that's real, right? So we just make sure that last week we had a couple good practices. We had a pads practice, you know, and then a shells practice, and there were lengthy practices go, uh, leading up into this week. So we got some good preparation. Uh, not only for our first opponent with, with for Green Bay, but also just the continuity piece um, of getting that line together on both both sides, you know. And uh, it'll be good to get our safeties back this week to be communicating with our linebackers. Um, that's the other thing we're looking at. So uh, it's going to be a good week of practice. About that too, I mean, you say that to that question. You said that that's a real thing. Are you guys kind of like? Is there a little bit of mystery with you guys too? Like you got to let them go play, and we'll we'll kind of see where we're at just because of all the injuries and. Yeah, yeah, I would say that, but you have guys that have experience, you know, and they even with our safeties, you know, they played all together last year, so I feel really good about that. You know, with the line, those guys all have experience. You know, it's just about you know working together. You know, the continuity piece of it, and we're going to work on that this week. Now, why why Patrick at left guard? I mean, I'm sorry, why Patrick at center instead of just keeping Cody at center and moving Patrick? Uh, we're just looking at the best combination, you know, what we feel is the best combination as a football staff, you know, Simo, myself, you know, Getsy, you know, and that's what we feel is the best combination. Um, and certainly during practice, we're going to flip that combination uh, because you have to be ready as the old pair and a spare. You got to be ready to go. What would be the rationale behind that plan? Then? So is it just that Lucas Patrick is better in your mind at one spot than the other? Or is it something with Cody? Yeah, just our best combination with the pair of, of those guys where we feel they are. That's it. Man, with, as much, with as much focus as there was on Rodgers last year, they ran the ball well against you in both games, and that was kind of a constant problem. How, just simply, how better equipped are you in what ways to, to stop the run against the Packers than, than anybody? Yeah, we've worked very hard on that this year, you know, uh, with the uh, defensive tackles, with the defensive ends, with our linebackers, with the style that we're doing and the techniques and fundamentals, and uh, we'll see where we are. You know, we know last year is last year, and this year is this year. We start the season off of this first game, and uh, we'll see how, how improved we are. Jordan Love hasn't put much of his scrambling ability on tape in the NFL. I know a little bit here in the preseason, given how big of a, an asset that was for Rodgers. Like, how do you know how to defend Love in that when he's able to do that versus what Rodgers was like? In yeah, we think Love is very athletic. Uh, we think he's got good escape ability. Um, you know, he's got the ability to move in and out of the pocket. Uh, he's exhibited that when he's been in there. And certainly on his college tape, he did too. So, um, you know, he's a, he's a very good athlete. Is that something that you have to go back to as Utah State tape to watch? You do. You go back and look at that, but you look at some of the things he's done, you know, when he's been in there. And you can certainly see the athleticism there. Uh, with, with, Darnell, with Darnell Wright, are there things from a defensive coordinator standpoint that you kind of can tell him? These, this is the way they might take advantage of you? Or, or what are some things that a rookie offensive lineman's got to know or be ready for? Yeah, I mean, they're going to throw their fastball at him. You know, they're going to definitely do that. They got some good players up front. They got a lot of first round picks on that defense. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are up front. And uh, those guys are going to throw their fastball. And he's got to be able to, you know, do his thing, you know, in terms of, you know, setting the right way, setting in pass pro, um, you know, uh, being aggressive, but under control in the run game. Uh, you know, being able to get, you know, work with the guy next to him, you know, five equals one in terms of our offensive line. 
and uh, I'm excited for him. I'm excited to see him play. Kenny Clark is one of those guys up front that, that does a lot for them defensively. When he's at his best, what makes him difficult to handle? Oh, he's just uh, just uh, the get off, you know, and the power, you know, the speed, the power that he has, the athleticism. Um, he's a good run player. Uh, he's a good on one on one matchups, you know. So he's a he's a very good player. We know today's a big day for Jaquan Brisker uh, in terms of being ready for Sunday. What are the things that you're going to be looking for in practice that'll indicate to you, yeah, okay, he's good to go for Week One? Uh, just execution, and I want to see speed. You know, I want to see the speed that he's able to play at, which he's exhibited that the last, you know workouts in the last, you know, practice that we had. So just excited to see that. Um, and his communication with Eddie and, you know, uh, Kyler and the rest of the defense. And that, that's been good. So just excited to see him going full speed. Are you, what do you, you expect him to be ready to go Sunday? Yes. Yep. Yep. Today's a big day, like we said, but uh, he's looked good all the way to this point. So we're excited about it. What did you learn about being a head coach on game day, specifically last year? And, and are there areas where you want to improve? Yeah, I mean, just the, the game management side of it, and that's what we're, you know, we do, and just helping out the coordinators. Um, that's what we did, you know, last year, and we continue to do during preseason this year, and uh, we continue to grow, you know, as, as, as managing the game and helping the coordinators out and um, during the course of the week and during the course of the game, and uh, that's where we're going. All right. Thank you. Thank you.